Good evening, ladies. We're moving on with our learning. I want to apologize about not sending a video on Thursday. The truth is, I just forgot. <laughs> and it happened before. And I said that I really hope it will never happen again, but it did. And I, I very much apologize. Um, so now we're going to learn about Rabbeinu uh, Bechei in his book. He explains about what are the five steps, or not steps, what are the five things that are required for uh, having trust in Hashem, or it's better to say a person who has full trust in Hashem. What does it look like? What are the five things that we will see in this person? And what are the five things that are required or are, are part of worshiping Hashem in the right way? So he says, the first thing is to know with clarity the seven things we spoke about on the uh, past videos that we went over it again and again and again. Um, for example, knowing that nothing bad can happen to you by anything unless it was allowed by Hashem, that nothing happens in this world unless it was allowed by Hashem or sent by Hashem. And it's not like other people can harm you or nothing bad can happen to you. If bad things happen to you, if people hurt you, it's only because Hashem allowed it or wanted it to happen. And the same thing, everything good that happens to you, it happened to you because Hashem sent it to you. It doesn't happen by itself. There is no one that controls you or influences your life other than, other than Hashem. Things don't come on their own. And, or we spoke about Hashem's love, how much Hashem loves us. So that's another thing that we need to know. So there are seven things that we need to know. In while we're at this subject, I wanted to show you. I have this book. Um, it's this one. Oh, sorry. I don't know if you know it. It's called Begana uh, Muna. I have the Hebrew version of it. It's uh, in the Garden of Faith. I think that's the translation. It's it was written by. Arav Arush, and it's an amazing, amazing book. I think that it's very basic, and if you want to, I will get you this book. It's about uh, faith, but it's not only. It's about uh, basic things about this world, how this world works, and why, and how Hashem controls this world, and why. And it's very, very, um, it's a very strong book. Another thing, okay, so one thing one requirement or one thing we will see in a person who trusts Hashem is knowing those seven things we spoke about. The second thing is knowing, and it repeats itself a little, knowing with clarity that Hashem watches over you and not in a spooky way of Hashem is watching over you, <laughs> in, in a true way that Hashem observes, He sees you, He knows everything about you, He knows the things that are visible for everyone and he knows the things that nobody knows. He knows exactly what goes through your mind and he knows ex exactly what you feel. And he knows even exactly how much you trust in him. He knows everything. So don't feel, sometimes we have this feeling like Hashem doesn't see us or Hashem doesn't know or Hashem is not involved in our lives but it does, it's not true. Just because maybe we don't involve Hashem in our lives doesn't mean that he's not there. Um, the third thing we'll see is that this person um, really trusts Hashem, only Hashem, and he doesn't rely on anything other than Hashem. We don't, he doesn't let the boundaries or the things we see in life that feels like they limit us, he, he doesn't let these things influence him or he's not intimidated by him, he does, he's not scared by them because he knows that it's nothing, it's just like shadows, you know, it's nothing. This world seems like everything is set in place and things are the way they are but it's all just it's all nonsense everything is controlled by Hashem and Hashem can change everything like that um, the fourth thing oh yeah, I'm making you a short video today well, Hashem, <laughs> finally the fourth thing is that he does maybe not that he does um, what Hashem wants from him what does it mean? Because what kind of person is he? If he trusts Hashem and counts on him 
and relies on him completely and he throws himself at Hashem and says, Hashem, you have to take care of me, Hashem, you, I'm, 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 I'm completely relying on you, but I don't care about anything you tell me. It doesn't really make sense. It's not, it's not fair. It's not decent. If a person, if you know, if you would have had a person, for example, who was providing for you and taking care of you and always there for you and, and really take, giving you everything that you have, and he asks you to do something and you completely ignore him, knowing that it doesn't matter, he's anyways going to take care of you, then that's rude. <laughs> so, the same way with Hashem. Hashem gives us everything that we have. Hashem takes care of us every single day. Everything that we have is from Hashem. And when you trust Hashem so fully, when you rely on Him completely, knowing with confidence that He will take care of you, then it's only decent to do what He says. It's only fair. It's only proper. If you count on him completely, well, then when he tells you something, you should listen. Um, be You know that Hashem will take care of you even if you're not worthy. But you want to be worthy. And there's a pasuk. I'm not sure if it's a pasuk. Or it's written in the Talmud. I'm not sure. I'll check. <laughs> but it says, It sounds like a funny... Okay, not such a short video after all. I'm sorry. <laughs> but it means is, take Hashem's will and make it your own. Make it your own will. Make it your own will to do Hashem's will. And when you do, then Hashem will make it His own will to do your will. If that makes sense, I probably doesn't. <laughs> I didn't say it proper, in a, in a clear way. But if you take if you take what Hashem wants from you, and you put it in your lives because you know that this is what Hashem wants, and you love Hashem so much, you want to do what He says out of love. Then Hashem, even if Hashem had plans, and even if Hashem knows that you deserve Aleph Bet Gimel, He loves you so much, He will do your will as well. Um, that's it for today. <laughs> Sorry, not a long, not a short video. Maybe tomorrow. And uh, thank you for joining me. Bye. Good evening.